Display tools in EOS follow tab focus. Because of that, there are two types of tabs, display tabs and controls tabs. These two different tab types pull focus differently. Let's go take a look at them. So before we go any further, let's make sure we're in snapshot three. That will give us a best of both worlds. And you'll notice on my left hand screen, I have two display tabs and a live summary is in focus. As we notice, it has gold highlighted around it and the title is gold. And next to it, my PSD is uh, grayed out. So it is not in focus and it has a gray label. If you look at my right screen, the two tabs that we have here aren't in focus either, but they are purple and that's because they are controls tabs. And controls tabs don't take focus by being interacted with. What do I mean by that? If I touch into my playback status display, I can really quickly pull focus to it. And then my displays tools, such as paging, are tied to it. I can do the same thing by touching back over anywhere in my live tab, and it'll pull focus. But if I touch in a direct select, which is a controls tab, you'll notice that I can't pull focus over to it. And that delineation is made because we expect you to be interacting with tabs that have controls in them. If I want to pull focus onto a control tab, I have to double hit the tab. And now I can use some functions of my displays, like paging, like I would on a display tab. If you look really quickly in your add a tab section, we have all of the displays tabs broken up in the top and controls tabs broken up in the bottom. So any tabs that you add will either be displays functions or controls functions based on where they're organized here. I'm gonna close that out. As you know, you can also pull focus to tabs by hitting your tab button, which will sequence through your tabs, or by pressing and holding tab and hitting the tab number and letting go. We treat live blind tabs a little bit special in that if you have multiple live or blind tabs open, you can pull focus between just them by holding shift and hitting your live key. And that will toggle you through just the live blind displays so that your tools can get you there faster. With Magic Sheets, you may be creating a display that is for viewing purposes or for control purposes. So we allow you to make that selection. I'm gonna hide my CIA and open a Magic Sheet tab. We'll grab the one we were playing with yesterday. So in my Magic Sheet editor, in settings, I have the ability to pick my display behavior. So by default, it's a normal display which means that it follows all the same rules as a display tab. If I prefer, I can change that to a control tab. And if I close my editor and bring live into focus, you'll notice that my magic sheet is now displaying in purple letters as well. If I try and bring focus to it, I can't. But if I double hit on the tab name, it will allow me to pull focus there. And my navigation tools work. And also, I have the ability to treat it like a live blind tab. So if I select channel display and close my editor, when I use shift and live, it will move it into the rotation with all of the other live and blind tabs.